sound like this is like a, a down video and, 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 it, and it, it, it's, it, it is but we're going to get encouragement from the word and I promise that. I just heard about um, the, the shooting that happened down in Orlando where one is so far I, I've seen I've heard it was one guy who shot up um, a club I, I guess it was a gay club or whatever and 50 people lost their lives and then um, I think it was around another 50 got hurt or maybe even more or less I, I don't know and that bothered me you know you know people was out there having fun having fun partying and 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 if you say they one was in there saying whatever I'm, that's not where this is going I, I was saying okay well you know if they if they maybe if they was in in, in church they would have been safer then we got Dylan Roof to the gunman who went up into um, South Carolina and shut up all them people when they were studying the Bible and not just that it's, it's many more of that happened people burning down churches this is a violent culture we're living in and we need safety we need safety from God and God is faithful to save them to give you safety. Let's go into the word and, 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 and understand what God's safety is and, 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 and how we should trust that. Uh, we have Psalms 5. Psalms 5. Psalms chapter 5. To the chief musician upon Nehila, a psalm of David. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditations. Hearken unto my voice of my cry, my King and my God, for unto thee I will, uh, will I pray. My voice shall thou hear in the morning. O Lord, in the morning will I direct my prayers unto thee, and I will, uh, and, and will look up. For thou art not a God that heareth pleasures, uh, have, have pleasures in the wicked, neither shall evil dwell with thee. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight, Thy hateth all works of the iniquity. Thy shall destroy them that speaketh least in. The Lord will abhor the bloody and the deceitful man. But as for me, I will come into thy house in the multitude of thy mercy, and into thy will um, into, and, and thy will fear will I worship towards the holy temple. And in thy fear, I'm sorry, in, I, in thy fear, I will worship toward the Holy Spirit, me and Holy Temple. Lead me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, because the, um, because of my enemies, make they they way straight before my face. For there is no faithfulness in thy uh, in their mouth. Their inward parts are very wicked. Their throat is an open sepulchre. They flatter with their tongues. Destroy thou them. O oh God, let them fall by their own counsel. Cast them out into the multitude of their transgressions, for they are for they have rebelled, rebelled against thee. But let all those that put their trust in you rejoice. Then thee rejoice. Let them every let them every shout for joy, because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. For the uh, for thou Lord will bless the righteous with favor will thy compass him with a shield. So what we have here is David saying, Okay, Father, you know, um you're not a God that loves wickedness, right? You're not a God that loves evil. And if you go check out the um the, 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 the kids Bible study I've been doing we've been talking about how to walk and where should we walk in the way we, think we should walk right and if you walk in the way of wickedness wicked things happen but get this this is where we get our strength we walk in God 
he will provide. He will still um, provide everything that we need. Safety. You know how many times you probably this week should have died. You know how many times this week you should have been in a situation where you can't walk. Like, you know, we, we, we just forget how grace and merciful God has been. Right? We think that we're supposed to have it. Like we're supposed to not be. We're supposed to be comfortable. We're not. We're not supposed to get hurt. We don't. We don't see God hand in, in in the mixing of our life. I truly believe. I, I I believe with everything in my heart that a righteous man has to sit by the Lord, and that righteous man. If anything happened to him, it's going to make him strong. It's, it's not going to hurt him at all. It's going to make him strong. Right? Because there's, there's there's a difference between pain and there's a difference between death. See, many people think when you get hurt, it's bad. Right? Hurt, when you're hurt, that, that's your body telling you that something is wrong. Something is not right. If you're laying on your side in the wrong way, it's going to hurt in the morning, right? Because something is not right. What God does is he'll allow things to happen in our life that may hurt, but it's going to build strength there. Especially, it's, it's, it's like this. That first week uh, to, to the football player, that first week of summer and you get into the weight room, your body's going to hurt. But you're going to be putting your body to a thing that's not comfortable in. And when your body hurts, it's not a bad thing. Because over time, over the summer, your body is going to stop hurting. So guess what happens when you have a real football game and you're going against somebody else and they're pushing your body and, and hitting your body and everything. After the game, it doesn't hurt so much because you took all that pain over the summer. See, what I'm trying to tell you is God building us up for something. And I want people to stop realizing that, oh, a little pain is, is bad. No, 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 no. God has perfect control of your life. He said, but let, this is um, um, Psalms chapter 5. But let, let all of those that put their trust in the Lord rejoice. Because your trust is in the Lord and you have to trust that. That's what faith is. When I put my trust in the Lord, I'm going to trust Him. That's my faith. So I'm just going to rejoice. And when things don't go the way that I want them, my trust is in the Lord. What's the picture of that? That's Jesus on the cross, right? Jesus went to um, went to um, Gethsemane, and he was like, um, I, I just come, if it can be passed, let it pass. But he said, no, I trust in you, so thy will be done, right? Everything that you need to happen, let it happen. We may not like what God is up to, but we rejoice because we know that it's for us. We know that it's for us. It says, but let those that have their trust in the Lord rejoice. Let them who shout, let them ever shout for joy because thy that finished them. Let them also love their name, be joyful indeed. People, this, this is, this is, this is what, this is what we really need to hear. This hour, listen, I, I'm telling you, it's fin to, it's fin to be, it's fin to be game time, right? This is, this is going to be an analogy, analogy that I'm going to be running with for a while. We got the tail end of summer to get ready. I'm talking about the tail end of summer to get ready for fall. Because when fall happens, the game is going to be on. And you can't see it. The, 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 the governments in our world, they're pushing things forward. They're moving things forward without people warning it. it it's going to happen. The Bible, what the Bible said, it has to happen because the Bible said the Bible is true. It has not yet to be proven to be a lie. And many has tried. I just want I just want you guys to know it's almost game time. And what game time is, when it's time to stand before and say, I'm, I, I believe in Christ Jesus. I rock in Christ Jesus. I hope this is going to strengthen you. The next time I'm going to move on.